Walter Leland Catlett was an American actor of stage and screen, as well as a comedian. He made a career of playing excitable, meddlesome, temperamental, and officious blowhards. Career Catlett was born in San Francisco, California. He started out in vaudeville, teaming up with Hobart Cavanaugh at some point, with a detour for a while to opera, before breaking into acting. He started on stage in 1906 and made his Broadway debut in either The Prince of Pilsen or So Long Letty. His first film appearance was in 1912, but then he went back to the stage and did not return to films until 1929. He performed in operettas and musicals, including The Ziegfeld Follies of 1917, the original production of the Jerome Kern musical Sally and the Gershwin's Lady, Be Good. In the last, he introduced the song, Oh, Lady Be Good. In 1918, he starred in, stage managed and rewrote an Oliver Morasca Elmer Harris Harry Planny production titled Look Pleasant, playing at the Majestic Theatre in Los Angeles. His antics in the musical Baby Bunting in London in 1922 had King George V laughing, uproariously. Catlett made a handful of silent film appearances, but his film career did not catch on until the advent of talking pictures allowed moviegoers to experience his full comic repertoire. Three of his better-remembered roles were as the theater manager driven to distraction by James Cagney's character in Yankee Doodle Dandy, the local constable who throws the entire cast in jail and winds up there himself in the Howard Hawks classic screwball comedy Bringing Up Baby, and as Morrow, the drunken poet in the restaurant who, knows when been a skunk, and takes Longfellow Deeds on a bender in Mr. Deeds Goes to Town. He was also widely reported to be Catherine Hepburn's comedy coach while filming Bringing Up Baby. The New York Times film critic Mordaunt Hall wrote that this clever comedian runs away with the acting laurels in Big City Blues. He played John Barsad in the 1935 David O. Selznick production of A Tale of Two Cities, starring Ronald Coleman. He also provided the uncredited voice of J. Worthington Fullfellow the Fox, the main villain in the 1940 Disney animated film Pinocchio. In the 1950s, he appeared in films like Here Comes the Groom, Friendly Persuasion, and Bo James. For his contributions to the film industry, Catlett was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame on February 8, 1960 with a motion picture star located at 1713 Vine Street. Walter Catlett died of a stroke on November 14, 1960 in Woodland Hills, California.